All right, guys, happy Labor Day. I thought I would do a special video having some like hot dogs and chips, like a Labor Day video, you know. I have some cake. I will just show it and try it later. So I'm trying this new drink at Whole Foods. It's called Raspberry Rose. It's a prebiotic drink. So I don't think it has any caffeine, but it's on sale for $1.99, a regular two for eight nine. So. It's not bad, it's like a light drink. I like more of a raspberry than a rose flavor. It's alright. Alright, let's try some hot dogs. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, not bad. There's just ketchup on here. Just something simple. Have some chips. These chips are called Kettle Honey Tijon. They're really good. So right now it's Thursday night. I'm gonna film this tonight, so by Monday, Labor Day weekend, or Labor Day, you will receive a nice Labor Day video. <laughs> so, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do this week. I'm just gonna stay around the house, or stay local. I'll be filming some mukbang videos. I guess you're the reds. I wanna film an ASMR KFC video, so if you guys follow me on my Care Bear channel, or my, sorry, my ASMR channel, um, I wanna do another ASMR video. So I haven't done an ASMR video in like two months, so I want to still do more ASMR videos. So I just filmed myself eating, actually I made a cheeseburger, so I, the cooking sounds, there's like no talking, just cooking sounds. So the cooking portion is like kind of ASMR type, you know, video. Um, and then eat it outside here, and I do like some whispering. Um, That was really fun to film. I'm editing that right now. So hopefully by this weekend I'll put that up there. And then if I could do my KFC video this weekend, that'd be really cool. Somebody wanted me to do a chicken ASMR. They were like, hey, if you if you eat crispy chicken in the backyard, that would be so awesome. Like, yeah, that's a good idea. Let me, let me try that. So hopefully this weekend I'll do that. We'll see. Somebody also suggested we do corn on the cob, but I'm not sure if corn on the cob is still in the store. Not sure about that. So, um, so I'm also going to be doing a, a video, a restaurant video, I think. I'm cutting a lot because there are just so many cars, and I don't know if. If you guys want to hear the car noise, let me know. I could try to do a video. Sometimes I have trucks that are really loud on the street. And, I guess I can try it one day to see if you guys like it. <laughs> um, so yeah, somebody sent me 20 I did a live in Santa Barbara. Somebody sent, Andrea, thank you Andrea so much. She sent me a $25 um, super chat. And I think she wants me to do a video and, and show it to you guys. And I have been busy, but um, thank you for reminding me, Andrea, for that video idea. So as of right now, I'm trying to think of where to go. I'm going to do it this weekend. I was going to go to the Cheesecake Factory. Um, and I kind of wanted to just to do like around $25. So it's like, you know, she paid for my meal. It wasn't like I'm spending more money and she's only paying part of it. So that'd be a really good idea just to kind of just go around, hopefully very close to that amount. And for the Cheesecake Factory, I will have to get a couple items, not just one item. And it's going to be really hard because Cheesecake Factory is really expensive. I think a Caesar salad was like 16, 17 bucks just for us. I couldn't believe it just for a salad. It's crazy. I would like to try the Cheesecake Factory and just try a couple of items. Um, but it might be for a different video.
<clears throat> but for this one, I think I found one that's kind of around $25. I think BJ's. I've never had their pizza before, so I thought we could try their pizza and a bazooki. That's around $25. Well, today I was actually watching Steven Sushi's Cheesecake Factory video. So he did probably like seven or ten, and they're almost all the same thing. The flatbread pizza and pasta. <laughs> so I was, you know, I want to try the flatbread pizza there. But, um, you know, I'm trying to think of what else I can do for $25. But um, that sounds like I might, I might do that. I might do that video I do. I don't want to do McDonald's or Burger King. I want to do something like different, you know. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I think it'd be fun and fun to do something different. I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm definitely filming more videos. Ever since I got back to Santa Barbara, I just, that trip was really needed for me. I'm more motivated, I'm more focused, I have more energy. That was just a really great trip. So, I'm um, trying to film almost every day. <laughs> Don't have a lot of time to edit. Sometimes when I'm tired after work, if I, if I film a video after work and then edit, it's kind of hard to do that in the same day. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't really have a lot of plans this weekend. Nothing really. I spent like a lot of money in Santa Barbara. Mainly the hotels are just really expensive. So I would probably go back again. It's just the hotels are so expensive. I mean, unless you guys know a cheap hotel that's under a hundred, let me know. <laughs> Near Santa Barbara. There was this guy that I really hoping that we could do a collab. He's in the LA, Santa Barbara, San Diego area. He lives in his car. And I don't know. I wanted to meet him and um, I want him to be my weekly vlog. And so I wrote him on Instagram. He loved my comment, but he didn't like get back to me and say, hey, yeah, I would love to meet you. So I don't know. I just love to meet new people. and wanted to interview him and, and let you guys know what's it like living in a car. You know, he's been doing it for the last three years. He makes really good money on Uber Eats. DoorDash, I guess. Um, so disappointing, but um, I'm, I don't know. I just love meeting new people. and It would have it been fun play. It would have been fun to meet him. And so the story of him is he, he did drugs and he was addicted to drugs and he got clean. Now he's just doing great. He's from Texas. He wanted to move to California. So now he's in California right now. And he's in the most, probably in the, I don't know about LA, but Santa Barbara and San Diego, is a, those are two great cities. LA, comment guys, how is LA? Is it overcrowded? I heard people are trying to leave LA, so I'm not really sure if it's like overcrowded or what the scene's like. I don't know if the crime is bad, but I know San Diego and Santa Barbara are really good cities. <laughs> So let me guys know what you're doing for Labor Day. So this week I did Home Chef again. It's my third time doing Home Chef. I did another little review. Did some, you know, filming as yesterday. So I chose two healthy meals, salmon with vegetables and potatoes. And meatloaf with with Brussels sprouts. Um, I give those meals both four out of five. It's funny because I make my own meatloaf, and I the, the meatloaf I make it's so good, so juicy, so moist, so good. So I thought this meatloaf was okay. Mine was better, but the sauce was okay as well. I mean, I prefer mine. And the salmon I tried was just okay as well. I prefer my version better, but I do want to try other 
boxes, other food delivery boxes, deliveries. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break from that. It is kind of expensive, but I think next week I'm just going to cook my own meals for a while. For a few weeks at least. Uh, thinking about making spaghetti. And I got a request to do spaghetti tacos. It was quite a while ago. A few people have requested this, I think. So I can make spaghetti one night. The next day I can make spaghetti tacos. And I got this Italian soda in San Francisco. In San Francisco at the ferry building. And I could try that with the spaghetti. That would be really cool. So... All right, guys, ready for some cake. Now this cake I got at Whole Foods. It was kind of leaking in the bag, so. Um, but it doesn't leak too much. Uh, called Tres Lesh. Cake is called Tres Lesh, I think. Um, there's a lot of liquid and usually I get this, there's not this much liquid, so, and it was spilling in the bag. Um, I don't know why. I can't really see that. Um, like, let's try some and see how it tastes. It's really good, actually. Mmm. This was two ninety nine. dollars you curious? That's a really good price for Whole Foods. Yeah, this cake is pretty good. I love the sauce on the bottom. It really makes the cake really... Extra sauce is really good. Mmm. A few more bites. I want to do some shout outs. You mentioned computer. Okay, if you guys give a few shout outs. God, this cake is really good. I have it. Wow. I was not expecting it to be this good. Just one last bite. Mmm. Alright guys, I have my computer here. I want to give a couple of shout outs just to show you guys. I really appreciate your comments and thank you for supporting me. So the first shout out I want to give to Bears and Butters. Now they say, hey Care Bear, great to see you eating some tacos. They look so tasty. Avocados are a must when you live in California. Yes. Good, you are able to eat foods with more spice in them now that you have experienced some. Great video and lots of love to you, girl. Thank you, Bears and Butters. They literally come on, I think almost all, or all my videos, probably all my videos. Um, and you can tell they watch the whole video because they comment different parts of the video. So, they have a channel too. Check them out. Here's one more. From Ivan Cordes. I think that was the guy that wanted me to do the chicken KFC chicken video outside ASMR. So Ivan says, looks delicious. More homemade foods, please. I do get requests to do um, homemade food, so thank you, Ivan. I'll do one more. Sorry, I can't do all the shout outs just because it just be like, it'll be, the video won't be too long. But maybe every so often I'll just do, give you guys some shout outs. Um, Here's, here's the last one. This is from Foodie Jean. She's been a subscriber for a very long time since I lived in my um, sister's house. She says, love anything tacos. I'm not that Jean. <laughs> so what, sh what does she mean by that? What does, she, what does she mean by I'm not that Jean? She means basically, guys, is my friend, I guess he called ex-friend. She's not my friend anymore, but I guess we stopped talking. But um, her name Jean, that's exactly how you spell her name. And in a live video, people thought that my friend Jean was on here, but this is actually Foodie. If you if you see a um, comment from Foodie Jeannie, if you see a comment from Food Foodie Jean, that's her. That's not my friend. My friend doesn't watch my videos. My or ex or whatever you call it. She my ex friend, whatever. She doesn't really watch my videos. 
she's just not very computer. I mean, when she got her first iPhone, she asked if texting was hard. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great Labor Day. I'm just probably just going to be chilling, making videos, editing, just relaxing. But let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing on Labor Day week. Are you chilling at home? Are you making any something special for dinner? Are you going out to dinner? Are you, you're traveling? Let me know. Have a great Labor Day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.